Fuser 2016 introduced our new real-time collaboration platform, allowing stakeholders to interact instantaneously within their project or projects from anywhere on the globe. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to set up a peer-to-peer -peer collaboration session. To begin hosting a peer-to-peer -peer collaboration session, navigate to the Network Collaboration tab under Navigation Controls. For now, we'll ignore the top half and focus on the peer-to-peer -peer collaboration section. In the first box, enter your display name. This is the name people will see in the collaboration session. Next, if you don't already have a file open, drag in a cache file, SketchUp file, or any other Fuser compatible file, or sync your project over from Revit. Once your file is fully loaded, it's time to begin hosting. Fuser offers three types of peer-to-peer -peer collaboration sessions, internet, local area network, and direct IP. For easy access from any location, select the internet session tab and click the host button. Please note that this session type requires an internet connection. Once loaded, a dialog box will appear with your session code. Attendees will require this code to log into your collaboration session. If you happen to close the dialog box, you can still locate the session code above the chat window. A button has also been provided for one-click copying of this information to your clipboard. To join an internet collaboration session, simply enter your display name, then enter the session code provided by the host into the session code box and click join. If this is your first time joining this project, a prompt will appear asking if you want to cache the project. Caching the project avoids the need to re-download the project file each time it's hosted. Sometimes you may prefer to host a session locally on your own network. To do this, navigate to the Local Area Network, or LAN tab, and click the Host button. To join a LAN session, navigate to the LAN tab and click the Search LAN button to locate any and all active LAN sessions. If you can't locate the session you wish to join, or if the session was newly created, click Refresh to update your list. Once you've located your session in the list, select it and click Join. Finally, to host a session directly from your computer, click on the Direct IP tab and click Host. Your host session IP address will be located directly above your chat window. To join a Direct IP session, enter the host session IP address provided by the host and click Join. If for any session you happen to press Host without a file loaded, don't worry. A dialog box will open asking you to load a file. Once the host is ready and your guests have logged in, you're ready to begin. Stay tuned for the next tutorial video where we'll delve into the features available in real-time collaboration.